Hello Trips and Toots, Gondor here, and welcome to Let's Play GoldenEye, starring 007 James Bond, Natalia Simonova, 006 Alec Trevelyan, Yanis Operative Zenya Onatop, General Akadi Oromov, Body Skrishenko, Ex-KGB agent Valentin Zukovsky, Defence Minister Dmitry Mishkin. And now we have a demo, but yes, welcome to Let's Play Goldeneye for the Nintendo 64. Goldeneye for the N64 is probably one of the best first-person shooters for the Nintendo 64 system. It is obviously based on the film Goldeneye starring Pierce Brosnan and various other actors including um, Robbie Coltrane, um, Alan Cumming, um, Famic Janssen um, and Sean Bean. Uh, now Goldeneye um, is probably quite famous because a lot of people like it for one reason. It's the... now I don't know if this is for any other kind of uh, games based off of films but this uh, Goldeneye is the only one that I know of that people like because it follows the film in a way and that's why people like it even though that there are some extra bits into it so that it it kind of you know adds extra stuff but it's the kind of game that um follows the film a legitimate way in some way god damn it but here we have two files, these are just files that I've been playing off screen for practice. So we shall erase this one. We shall open up this um, file. Now we can have select mission or multiplayer. I can't have multiplayer because I've only got one controller. So here is our uh, levels. Now let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15. Uh, we can only do 18 of them, so this will be the last level here. These two can only be unlocked through um, certain, well, once certain requirements are met. Um, I can't remember what the requirements are, um, so I don't know if I will do these levels. I might, but we'll see. But, in any case, we've got to start off at the dam. Now here, we can choose our difficulty. Agent is for those playing it for the first time. Secret agent is for those looking for a slight, a slight challenge. And double O agent is for all the hardcore experts. Now, I'm going to be uh, honest with you. I have uh, finished this game on double O agent before. But it has been years since I last played this. So if, if anyone was looking for, a ch for, for me to do some kind of hardcore double uh, O seven action. Sorry. I'm going to be playing it on agent. Yes. And if you, if you don't like it. I'm sorry. So here we have our objectives. Just bungee jump from the platform. Now, if you play, uh, if, if you played the game on um, Secret Agent or Double O Agent, you will have more objectives to uh, complete. Now, here's um, some tabs here. You can uh, hit Start to go straight into the mission, or Previous to go back. But we're not going to do that, even though I just did. But next, it gives you some extra details. Here's some background um, about the mission. You've got a briefing from M. Now, if, if for anyone who watched uh, GoldenEye, you'll know that M um, was first played by Judy Dench in this one. Um, the original M was, uh, I think, a guy called Bernard Lee. And then, I think, after him, it was a guy called Robert Brown, and then Judy Dench took over. So this is um, the briefing, just telling you what you'll be doing. Q Branch, obviously, we all know he's been played by Desmond Llewellyn, unfortunately he's no longer with us, it was kind of sad when I found out that um, Desmond Llewellyn had died, which is kind of sad because I think he died after um, filming um, The World Is Not Enough actually. But anyway, what Q Branch will say is that he'll um, tell you what gadgets and that you'll be taking with you. We will be taking with us the um, a covert modem. Now, um, because I'm playing it on Agent, we won't actually use it, but I'll show you where to use it. And of course, the lovely Money Penny who'll give us um, some final words of wisdom. 
because well we all we all know how money penny likes to uh, try to make the moves on James but anyway here we go let's start this and first of all sorry about the um, weird sky and the kind of like stretched out rocks that's some kind of emulator glitch there's nothing I can do about that but everything else seems fine so here we are here's Pierce Brosnan's James Bond and so we can go on with the mission let's take out this guy here let's shoot him in the head if I can't oh yeah let's pick up his KF7 Soviet which is like a uh, some kind of machine gun I see you Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that's right. I, f I forgot there's some guards there. Whoa. Da -da, these controls. It's because I'm not playing on a um, an N64 controller because I don't know of any way to actually play or basically record games directly from an N64. Whoa. Where'd you come from? But anyway, yeah, when we were up in this tower, um, I picked up a sniper rifle. Which obviously increases our range. Now, whenever you pick up a, a sniper rifle, um, your un unarmed is normally a karate chop. But when you go to unarmed, you, you can hit enemies with the butt of the sniper. Let's pick up the sniper rifle again. Because we're getting shot at. Over there, I see. Yep, and if you hold the C, uh, the C top button, um, you can zoom in a bit with the sniper. Gotcha. Uh, die. Right, you, I can see your heat poking out. Come on. Gotcha. Alright, I think that's all the guards. Now, if you want to do, you can destroy these... Oh, someone's shooting at me. Oh, wow, they're shooting from behind those. Yeah, you do not want to stand by these barrels when someone's shooting. Aha! How the hell did I forget about you? But anyway, if you want, you can go into this little bunker here and pick up um, the guard's guns. Now, to get through here, you you just got to stand at this switch and press the B button on the N64 controller. And then there's a button here that will need to open. Now, if you leave this gate open and try to open this one, this gate will automatically close first before this gate opens. So that's why I like to close the gate behind me. Now, be careful with this guy because... Um, no matter what difficulty you're, you're playing it on, if you get close to that guy, he's going to run over to that thing there. That's an alarm. And if he hits it, well, it's just going to sound the alarm. But I think some more guards come. But I can't remember. Now, just be careful because James can also um, activate the alarms himself if you go up to him and press B. So... Just to be safe, make sure that you destroy it. Um, I think if you're playing on Agent and Double O Agent, destroying these alarms is also a mission requirement. Here we've got some general. Just uh, kill him to pick up his DD4 Dodge something. I don't know, some kind of gun with no silencer. But anyway, if you come over, over here, here's a little computer thing. Now, if we press start, we go into Bond's watch, which is the pause menu. Now, we are looking for the covert modem. So, to equip it, you just press A on it and then press start again to leave. And then, you just hit the hit the fire button and then there we go. That's how you complete that objective if you're playing it on a higher difficulty and you need to install the covert modem. Shoot this lock to open the game and progress. Now, for anyone who's seen the film, this is the beginning of the film where you see James running along the top of the dam but we all know that's actually a stunt double it's not actually Pierce Brosnan doing it 
Oh, damn it, I missed. Yeah, just a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Oh, yeah. The big Gondor 1990 is absolutely deadly with a sniper rifle. But, in any case, I'm going to continue on. Now, if you're playing on um, higher difficulties, there's these little rooms here. If you go into them, you'll see some alarms there as well. There's one there, one in uh, that one there, and there's a room right over there somewhere. There's an alarm in each of those rooms. You just destroy them to complete your alarm objective if you are playing it on a higher difficulty. And also there's another objective which involves you, I think, going down one of these rooms through some kind of underground tunnel, fighting some guards and making it to a computer. But in any case, once you've finished all your objectives, you come over here and you just jump off. Because we all know in the film, um, James Bond uh, bungee jumps off the dam. But obviously in the film, um, you, you don't see James um, starting off um, shooting alarms in that, okay? You just see him running straight on the dam. Now, you'll know if you've finished um, all your objectives because you'll always get like an ending uh, cutscene like what I, I just got. So here is your kind of um, end mission report. You can see that I have completed the bungee jump from platform. Mission status completed. There's, um, I think, three different types of mission status you've got completed when you complete all your objectives. You'll get a failed if you complete most of your objectives but fail one or a few less or well basically if you fail one objective or more and there's also KIA which stands for kill in action for those of you who don't know and obviously that means is that if you lose all your health during a mission and you die here is our statistics we took 5 minutes 27 to complete it our accuracy is 75.4 percent when my choice is basically whatever weapon you use the most we fired 61 shots and we killed 16 people. And these bits, I think these are the bits that we um, get shot at, I think. So we got hit in the head 6 times, body 13 times, limbs 14 and others 0. Um, obviously limbs are going to be like your arms and your legs, I think. Body hits is your torso. Others, I don't know what that means, I think that means other things like um, your hands and feet or something. But, I don't know. But anyway, hitting it next again, we'll take us straight to the um, next objective report. But if you want, you can go back to previous and you can go back to the dam again and do it on a harder difficulty if you so wish. But the f now, um, whenever you finish a mission on agent, um, every other mission is going to be on agent. So let me just check. Yeah. So if you want to unlock, well, if you want to play missions on a higher difficulty, you have to do the dam again and then play it through on either Secret Agent or Double O Agent. But for this playthrough, I'm just going to do everything on Agent. But I'll try my best to explain some of the missions and... or basically what some of the missions entail in higher difficulties, if I can remember them. But, in any case, I'm going to have to stop the video here. So, in the next video, we will be um, heading to the facility where our objectives will be to Gain entry to the laboratory area. Rendezvous with 006, who is Alec Trevelyan, played by the awesome Sean Bean. Destroy all tanks in the bottling room. And this is the first uh, mission where we've got to minimise um, scientist casualties. Some other missions will involve minimise civilian casualties. So you've really got to be careful. Okay. But, in any case, like I said, I'm going to stop the video here. And in the next video, we will continue on and head into the facility, so I shall see you guys then.